blessed is the man who able to learn to surrender one's will one's emotions we get involved in relationships i love her i love him i love this i love this food i love this there are many things in which we give our heart to the world i like this kind of taste coffee taste i like i like this kind of person i like this kind of dress to many things and when that is available they are ready to do anything there are so many people have thrown their lives the great napoleon how did he lose the battle he conquered many nations before his death they were all in the camp and so much of beef and so much of potato was kept before him he loves beef and potatoes he was eating eating they were saying general it's time the enemy is coming oh little bit left out oh, two minutes i'll come stomach became so big he was feeling sleepy he could not think properly gone the enemy is cutting him through the flesh the spirit is lost for many because many have not built up the spirit many have lost and in not able to build up the spirit because they were caught up in the flesh many are caught up in the flesh so they could not build up the spirit they could not build up the spirit so they could not move with the spirit of the lord the anointing of the lord so submission means offering one's desire the heart the mind and the intellect the will everything is surrendered to god and then that person becomes a partner with god and god's power god's life is given to that individual to continue the mission of god which is called the anointing of the holy spirit so anointing of god is not merely a feeling or merely is a some kind of experience is much more it is it is the life of god flowing in man to do the will of god yes and today let's praise god thank god this samaritan woman is a sinner a man a woman who was living with the five men now she is staying with the sixth fellow but still god comes to talk to her love her give her salvation she has come to know the lord then she says you jews are worshiping in jerusalem we worship on the mountain jesus says that time is coming my people will worship god in spirit and truth they will know the truth the bible they will remember the truth lord you are almighty who you are they will remember and praise god who god what god has done to us they will remember they will praise god who we are they will praise god and what god does through us they will praise god the truth you the more you keep alive the truth the word of god it will lead you to worship him to thank him to praise him the moment you begin to praise every power of darkness moves away when king saul wanted to kill david he came to meet david and david was in the place called rama with the prophet samuel so what did, what were they doing Samuel and David they were praising thanking God singing praises to God worshiping in spirit and truth 
Lord, you are almighty. Lord, you are my light. You are my salvation. You are my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. David sings all the psalms. And Samuel joins with him. Both are praising God. And the place is filled with anointing. Now Saul has sent the people to catch David. They came with the hatred. But the moment he enter into the anointing place, hatred disappears. They join with them and they to praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Saul sent second group, third group. They are also praising God. So Saul says, now let me go and catch David and kill him by myself. With the power of the evil spirit, he comes inside. And when he entered into the place of praise and worship, light is stronger than darkness. The evil spirit disappears. And Saul also praises God, dances and sings praises. The people said, Oh, Saul also has become a prophet now. Yes. Praise and worship. When you are anointed, when you know the truth, who you are, who is your God, and what God has done for you, remember day and night, you will be leaped in joy. You will become a vessel of praising and thanking God. And that will destroy the evil. As we read in Acts chapter 16, where Paul and Silas, on the prison, they were praising God. They were thanking God. And it broke the walls up, the chains up, their hands and the doors of the prison. Yes. Praise Him. Thank Him. Worship Him. And praise and worship should make you to submit yourself to God. When you praise Him, you submit yourself into His holy hands. Lord, let your will be done in my life. Lord, what you wish, let it happen to me. Yes. Today is the day where we begin to worship Him, thank Him. The Bible says, O oh my soul, praise the Lord. And all that is within me, glorify the Lord. Do not forget what your God has done for you. Like the East is far from the West. He has thrown away all your sin. Like the Sky is high above the earth. He has loved you so much. Like the father who shows compassion and mercy to his children. How many times God has shown mercy and compassion to you. Oh my soul, praise the Lord. And all that is within me, glorify the Lord. You ask us to remember four things every minute of our life. To think of who you are. That we may praise you and thank you. To remember what you have done for us. On the cross. Through your word. Through your life and salvation. Third. You want us to remember who we are to you. What you have done for us, for me individually. How you have led me till today. How you have given me the gift of salvation. Well, there are so many people in the world. You chose me, Lord. Why? Help me to praise you, to thank you. And if I Surrender my will to you. I can receive your anointing and worship you in spirit and truth. Lead me to that life, Lord, of worshipping you in spirit and truth. That my will
be surrendered to your will that your heaven will be part of me we make this prayer through Christ our lord 